A priest in Finland is being accused of inciting religious hatred after he described one of the world's most wanted men as a terrorist. Police have questioned the pastor after he gave an interview to RT in which he discussed Dokumar, the man behind the Moscow metro and airport bombings. Let's cross now to Katrina Grichava, who has been to Finland and talked to the man. So Katrina, tell us what exactly is he accused of? Now, Pastor Yuhamalar is being prosecuted for inciting religious hatred and for publicly criticizing what the Finnish authorities describe as a legally operating organization. That is the Kafka Center, Russian for the Caucasus Center. Now, for those of our viewers who may not know what the organization is all about, this is a media outlet, an internet website, which made itself a name by uh, being a mouthpiece for terrorist Dokumar. This website is banned in Russia as well as in a number of other countries across the world, but in Finland it enjoys quite a comfortable location, both on the Internet and in downtown Helsinki. Uh, headquarters of this organization are in the very center of the city. Now, Juha Molari was the first and the only man in Finland to openly say that this was outrageous and that Finland should not shelter extremist organizations. He was not least surprised uh, when, after a short while, he was getting death threats from people, members of this organization. And those letters were signed by Doku Marov himself. But when he went to police, police in Finland seemed to be a little interested in that. This email came from uh, Tagestan, mm -hmm. and uh, here's uh, Doku Umarov, terrorist, and uh, somebody who's Timur Hasiev, or somebody sen sent this message to me that they will cut my head away if I will continue my fight against Kafka Center. You've done a personal investigation. You have found this I address found, on the internet. I found a telephone number. Have the Finnish police helped you in that? They answered that uh, that Dokumarov is president of separatist government, and therefore that that resp responsible person, respectable person, cannot do anything this kind of. Now, some recap on who this respectable person indeed is. Some of his most famous claimed atrocities are the Nevsky Express bombing uh, when a train was blown up uh, on its way from Moscow to St. Petersburg in 2009, uh, twin Moscow metro bombings in 2010, and most recently uh, the suicide bombing on the country's largest airport, the Madiadova. Uh, he is not only Russia's most wanted man, Doku Marov, he's also on the international list of terrorists. Recently, the U.S. acknowledged the fact that he has links to al-Qaeda. So with all that in mind, the question is, what is the priest persecuted for? Obviously, for citing the facts which the rest of the world acknowledges, except apparently Finland, what other countries like Russia see as a terrorist, Finland deems as a freedom fighter. All right, Katerina, thanks very much indeed for bringing us uh, the details on this case. Katerina Grichalva there. Johan Bachmann, the chairman of the Finnish Caucasus Friendship Society, says Finland stands as attracting terrorists to the country. The fact that Finland is of officially promoting the terrorist activities of uh, Doku Marov and his so-called emirate is an obviously fact that will bring uh, terrorists and terrorism into Finland, which actually is the fact today because we have an aggressive uh, uh, diaspora of uh, uh, consisting of uh, members of terrorist organization. And uh, this uh, diaspora is carrying out active propaganda in Finland.